Hi, I'm Rob, and I'd like to welcome you to this AWS IoT playlist on the Cumulus Cycles channel. AWS IoT is AWS's Internet of Things family of managed services, which allow internet connected devices, such as smart appliances, sensors, and microcontrollers to securely interact with other devices and applications in the cloud. The service can handle billions of devices and trillions of messages, and messages can be routed to other AWS services or other devices. The communication between the devices and AWS is bi-directional, so this allows you to send data from the device to AWS to store and analyze the data, as well as create applications that will allow interaction with the devices through AWS. At the heart of AWS IoT is the IoT Core service. IoT Core is a managed service which allows devices such as cars, cameras, and smart speakers to easily and securely interact with AWS. You can interact with AWS IoT Core using the AWS Management Console, the AWS CLI, and AWS SDKs and devices can use the AWS IoT device SDKs to communicate with AWS IoT Core. Devices communicate with AWS IoT Core using the device gateway, which supports pub-sub messaging for scalable, low-latency communication of billions of connected devices frequently communicating with AWS IoT. Device gateway enables secure end-to-end -end encrypted communication between the topic publishers and subscribers over MQTT, HTTPS, and WebSockets. Another fully managed service in IoT Core is the Message Broker. This is the PubSub Message Broker, which securely transmits the messages between devices in AWS IoT with low latency. It supports one-to-one -one or one-to-many messaging patterns. The IoT Core Device Shadow enables applications to query data sent from the devices as well as send commands to the devices via REST API calls. And the IoT Core Registry establishes identities for connected devices and tracks their metadata, such as the device's attributes and capabilities. It's the registry that's used for configuring and connecting devices to IoT Core. We'll take a deeper dive into these services as we progress through the playlist. But for now, that's it for an intro to AWS IoT. In the next video, we'll start getting hands-on with the services, so I hope you're excited and will join me there.